How's it going? Today we're going to be making a particle gun. This is a simple game object where when you pull the trigger, it fires off some particles. Super easy to make and barely any code. So let's get to it. Because there's a couple components to a particle gun, let's go through its construction and steps. First, we're going to make the bullet particles with trails. Secondly, we're going to make the explosion particles. Third, create the gun model. And lastly, write the Udon Graph script. So let's head into Unity. Now that we're in Unity, go to the top left of the hierarchy and select the plus icon. Go to Effects, Particle System. Rename your particle system to Bullet Particles. Under its inspector, Set its rotation to where the particles are coming out horizontally. For me, I'm setting it to 0, 0, 0. Next, go to Duration and set it from 5 to 20. Deselect Looping. Under Start Lifetime, change it from 5 to 10. Under Start Speed, set it from 5 to 50. Go to Start Size, and change it to 0.5. Go down to start color, select it, and choose a color you like. For me, I like purple, so I'm going to change it to that. Next, go to simulation space. Change it from local to world. Then go to play on awake. Deselect play on awake. Next, go to Emission and open it up. Under Rate Over Time, change it from 10 to 0. Then go to Burst, select the plus icon, and change the count from 30 to 1. Open up Shape, and change the shape from Cone to Box. Then set the scale of that box to 0, 0, 0. After shape, go down to collisions. Check collision and open it up. Under collision, change the type from planes to world. Go to bounce and set that from one to zero. Under lifetime loss, change that to one. After collision, go down to sub emitters. Select Sub-Emitters and open it up. Change it from Birth to Death. We'll leave this empty because we'll make the Sub-Emitter a little bit later. After Sub-Emitters, go down to Trails, select and open it up. Under Lifetime, change it from 1 to 0.1. Then go down to Width over Trail and change that from 1 to 0.1 as well. Next, go to the right and select the arrow facing down. Open it up and change it from constant to curve. Under the particle system curve graph, select the icon that has the curve going from the upper left to the bottom right. Select the key and drag it over to about 4.5 and then curve it out. Under Trails, it's asking for a material. We can do this in the Render module. Open up Renderer, and we see we don't have a material for our trail, so let's make one. Go to Assets, right-click, Create, Material. Let's rename this material to Trail Material. Under Inspector, go to its shader, and change it from standard to VR chat, mobile, particles, additive. Go back to your bullet particles and go to the renderer module. Under trail material, grab your trail material that you just made and place it in its slot. Let's play the particle system. 
Now we have a functioning bullet. Now that we've made our bullet particles, let's make our explosion particles. First, go to the top left of the hierarchy and select the plus icon. Go to Effects, Particle System. Rename it to Explosion Particles. Then, select Bullet Particles and copy the transform position data. Go to the top right and select the three dots. Copy Component, then select Explosion, top three dots, and paste component values. This will place both systems in the same position in the world. Select Explosion again, and change the duration from 5 to 1. Deselect Looping. Go to Start Lifetime, and change it from 5 to 1. Go down to Start Size, and change it from 1 to 0.2. Then go down to Simulation Space, and change it from Local to World. Then go down to Plan Awake, and deselect it. Next, go to Emission. Under Emission, change Rate over time from 10 to 0. Go to Burst, hit the plus icon, and change the count from 30 to 100. Then, go to Shape, and change the shape from Cone to Sphere. Go down to Scale, and change it to 0.1 by 0.1 by 0.1. Next, go to Color Over Lifetime. Select it and open it up. Select Color. In the Gradient Editor, select the first bottom arrow. Hit Color and choose something you like. Go back to the editor and drop another arrow by left clicking. Hit Color again and choose another one you like. Lastly, hit the last arrow and choose the third color. Then, set the gradient to how you like it. Next, go to Size over Lifetime. Select it and open it up. Select the graph, then go down and click the icon where the graph goes from the top left to the bottom right. Next, let's see how the particles look. Looks like a good explosion. Select bullet particles, go to sub emitters, and grab your explosion particles you just made and drop it into the sub emitter. Select yes reparent. Now what this should do is when we play the bullet particle, it'll hit a wall using the collision that we set and it'll end the particle. At its death, the explosion particle will play. So let's see how it works. Looks pretty good. Now that we've made our particles, let's start working on our gun model. Feel free to use the inbuilt 3D modeler that comes with Unity already. As for me, I'm going to be using ProBuilder alongside ProGrids. If you have any questions about getting these programs into your world, go to Icono Classes Create Your First VR Chat World Series on YouTube. Go to his first video, titled Setup, and at 7 minutes and 30 seconds, he explains how to import the two add-ons. Before we begin, go to ProGrids and set the snap increment to 0.125. Then, go to ProBuilder, and under New Shape, select the plus icon. Set it to Q, and select Build. Then. Select cube in the hierarchy and rename it to gun. And then select face selection. And let's begin modeling the gun. Next, select the top face of the cube. Hold down Shift 
and bring it up one snap increment. Then, select the left face, hold down shift again, and extrude two snap increments. And now we have a basic model of a gun. Next, let's get the bullet particles and place them in front of the gun. Now just a little side note, when you're putting the particles in front of the gun, because both of these objects have colliders on them, make sure they're not too close, otherwise it'll explode on impact. So let's bring it out a little bit more, and there we go. Now that we have the particles where we want them in front of the gun, let's set these particles as child objects of the gun. Select your gun, and then go to its inspector. Deselect Static. Go down to its box collider and set it to is trigger. Next, we're going to add three components. First, add a VRC pickup. Under rigid body, deselect use gravity. Then select is kinematic. Go down to the script and under orientation, change it from any to gun. Then, under auto hold, change it from auto detect to yes. Next, add a VRC object sync. And lastly, add a udon behavior component. Now that we've made our physical gun, let's start working on the logic. First, go to Assets, right-click, Create, VRChat, Udon, Udon Graph Program Asset. Then, let's rename the script to Particle Gun Logic. Select the script, and then press Open Udon Graph. Now that we're in Udon Graph, go to the Variables tab and select the plus icon. Search up Particle System. Let's rename the Particle System variable to Bullet Particles. Then select the arrow and change it to Public. Hit Compile, and then grab your variable and drag it onto the graph. Next, hit the spacebar and search up Custom Event. Rename your Custom Event to Fire Gun. Then, hit the spacebar again and search up Particle System. Under Particle System, search up Play and select the Play node. Next, search up Send Custom Network Event. Hit the spacebar, and select the node. After that, hit the spacebar again, and search up Event, and then Event on Pickup Use Down. Under Send Custom Network Event, change the event name to the custom event you just made, which is Fire Gun. Hit Compile one more time, go to your scene, select your gun, scroll down to the Udon Behavior script, and drop the script you just wrote into the program source. The public variables will populate, leaving a space for bullet particles, so grab your bullet particles and drag them into the space. Let's see if it works. Hit play. Looks pretty good. Now that we finished our particle gun, and we know that it works, let's take a look at the script. You may have noticed we're using an event on pickup use down node, coupled with 
a send custom network event node. The reason why we're doing that is because if we try to directly input the on pickup use down into this play node, the particle system is only going to play for you. So, because we want everyone to see the particles, we need to network that event. The way we do that is we create a custom event. Then we name it something, in this case we called it fire gun. Then we create a network node and instruct the node to control the custom event titled, in this case, fire gun, using this tab here. So every time I pull the trigger, it plays the bullet particles for everybody in the instance. Now I'm sure you're getting it, that networking is strictly an illusion, because it's not that we're seeing the same particles, it's strictly every time I pull the trigger, it plays a particle system for you too. Coupled with the fact that this has a VRC object sync component on it, creates the grand illusion that you and I are seeing the same thing. But that's networking. As for our particle systems, we instructed our primary system, bullet particles, to emit only one particle whenever the system is played. Then, in the collision module, we instructed that particle to die whenever it hits a collider in the world. Then, under sub-emitter, we instructed it so that every time that particle dies, it plays our explosion particle system, like so. And that's pretty much it. Thank you so much for your time, and I hope this video was helpful to you. See you in the next one.